Hello everybody, Jumpy Daddy 7 here, and today we're going to do a look with the um, Crystal Cavern Collection from Wet n Wild. As you can see, I chose the one that's in the middle, which is the Rose Quartz. I figured you all would expect me to use the Amethyst or the Jade, and I've actually already used the Jade in an um, IGTV tutorial, so I will link that. I will, um, sorry, you need to go check that out on Instagram. So, I have swatches of this compared to the Dragon Scale, um... One that they came out with the Ice and Fire collection to see if the greens in them were the same. And they were similar, but like they weren't exactly the same. Plus, you don't get this special shade here in the middle. So, if you want to see this one in action, you need to go to JLVD87 Instagram page. And then later on, I think tomorrow, I will be putting this on JLVD87 Instagram page, the um, Amethyst one. So, um, you'll see that one tomorrow on JLVD87's um, IGTV page. But today we're going to go into this one right here, which is the Rose Quartz one. I will swatch the highlighter for you, but like, I put it on my face and I don't think it looks good on my skin tone. So I will not be putting it on me today. But as you know, my hand is the same color as my face. So we'll just swatch it now and then you'll see what I'm talking about. Like, the consistency of it is really wet. It feels like one of the, um, it feels like the ColourPop, um, highlighters. And this is what it looks like. See, that's like way too frosty and icy for my skin tone. So it's like, yeah, no. That's not happening at all. But, um, you know, um, I figured I would buy it just so you could see it on a darker skin tone. But I personally don't like shades like this. Like, it'll be good for the inner corner or maybe mixing it with something else. But otherwise, I'm not. Yeah, sis ain't doing it. So, um, I'm going to start off with this color right here. You put that in the crease since they don't really give you that many options. And then I um, have these two colors I just have on top of the lid right here, as you can see. So, let's get started. I'm using this, um, Color Block Blending Brush. I meant to use my Wet n Wild Blending Brush. Because it's a Wet n Wild product. But I forgot. I just picked up the brush that was in front of me. And it was this one. Unfortunately. Because I like to use the brand's products together. Because, you know, that's usually what they're designed for. Uh, this is just a really satiny, like, I guess, baby pink, if you will. And I feel like you can't really see it that much. Unless you're, like, close up on me. So, hmm. And it's a satin, so y'all already know I'm not happy because it's a satin. I don't know how many times I gotta tell these companies. Maybe I should do video on the things I don't want to see in makeup, just like I did one on uh, video on things I want to see more of. I think I'm gonna film one today of things I don't want to see more of. Like, get rid of these satin shadows. Why? Why do we have these satin shadows? Take these satin shadows and do something with them. I am not amused at all. Like whatsoever. Um. I'm going to take some glitter glue now from NYX. Y'all know I normally use this glitter glue. And I'm put it all over the lid so I can make sure the shimmers adhere. And I'm glad I didn't get like a lot of fallout. Because the first time I tried to film this video for y'all, I was sitting on the floor. And I felt like you couldn't see my eye look as well. So, um, that's why I'm not uploading that one. Because y'all could have had this video like tomorrow. But because I didn't, um, like the footage of me sitting on the floor doing eye looks, I'm going to get rid of it. I actually need to do the Kevin Kwan video I um, did over again too because I don't like that one either because I was sitting on the floor and I wasn't feeling the, the vibe. So I might redo that eye look and just re-upload it or whatever. I don't know. We'll see. But anyway, I started off with this color right here. So I started off with that one and then I put this purple one on top of it. So that's what we're going to do. And I guess I'll swatch the quad while we're sitting here. So... I just feel like it smears away to a lot of just glitter. But as you can see, that's the quad we're putting on our eyes right now. And that's the highlighter. But I'm going to go in with the shade I told y'all I was going to go in first, which is this one. So let me swatch it and start patting it on the lid before this glitter really dries. And I like this rose goldish color. But, like, I have a whole rose gold palette by G-Way. So I'm trying to debate, like, do I even want to, you know. I keep this little quad because I'm about to go on vacation to visit my cousin. So I think about taking them to go visit them. So that way if I leave it, it doesn't matter. I'm taking all the stuff I don't care about when I go visit them. Because it's like I know I'm not going to get it back. Especially since I own a whole bunch of expensive stuff. As y'all know, I haven't done a makeup collection video this year. I did one last year. But I've just gotten even more expensive stuff by making these videos. So it's like, last thing I need to do is take anything like that with me. Because I know I will not get it back. And I'll be damned if they're going to be keeping Natasha Denona or Pat McGrath or, you know, Charlotte Tilbury or any of that type of stuff. Like, I, you will die. Try to take it from me. You will die. I'm taking <laughs> this color right here right now. And I'm going to just pat that on top of this. I tried to do it more toward the inner corner. 
at first and then I just ended up putting it like everywhere so I smeared it in the corner right here and I just started typing, tapping it and smearing it everywhere on top but the rose gold underneath is much stronger so you can't really you know like you can really still see it and it's just like a little nice little shift purple in this other thing but um okay so that's pretty much the finished eye look it's not much to it because it's only like you know three shadows or whatever um let's talk about this collection as a whole so I love the formless highlighter, but I'm going to need a better color for, like, you know, people my skin tone because I'm not going to be going out looking ashy and icy and crazy. I might be able to mix this in with, like, another highlighter and make it work. Like, when I have a colorful highlighter that I want to use, I might just mix this in and call it a day. As far as these quads go, um, I really like the jade one the best, of course, because it's green. Um, I haven't tried the amethyst one yet, so I don't know. We will try this tomorrow on the IGTV on JLB Diddy, so it's Instagram page, so we'll find out about that one then. This one, actually, is my least favorite one. It's really simple and, um, kind of boring. But overall, I like the collection and the idea of it. It's giving you, like, these little quartz of crystals or whatever. I have the perfumes as well. I haven't tried them yet, though, so I don't want to tell you about those. But they did have a snack, scratch and sniff card, so you could see what they smell like before you bought them. So I appreciated that. At the CVS, I went to, they had it, but, um... Yeah, I would definitely say um, if you want to experiment with color but you don't want to spend a whole lot of money, you should definitely try these out. Um, they're only $5 a piece, and right now, Wet n Wild has coupons on smartsource.com where if you buy two iPods, you get $2 off. So they're $5 a piece. That would knock them down to 8 easily. So definitely check them out. Um, they're the regular quality of their eyeshadows, which I think is pretty good considering their eyeshadows are usually like 5 bucks and you get like 10 of them. And I think the smaller ones are like $3.99 or something like that. I don't know. But anyway, I definitely recommend you get this collection. I do have the um, face spray. I have used it. I used it in the first video. And it was okay. I, it wasn't like anything impressive. Like their primer water wasn't that impressive either. New primer waters they have though now. I would definitely recommend you try those. But anyway, this one, not so much. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. And I'll see you guys in the next one.